Well, uh, this is a this is a first in my life. Uh, I have a flat tire. Um, uh, so, long story short, I'm going down the road. As you can see, I'm I'm in Scotland and I'm in the middle of nowhere. And this lorry is coming down the road, and the lorry was wider than the road. Uh, I saw the license plate on the front. It was from Spain. Had an E on it, and I had to pull over, like like pull off to the side to not get hit. And as you can see here, the side of the road is lined with these rocks. So here, so it's it's not exactly uh, driver friendly. And um, so yeah, I'm just sitting here. Yep, I'm fine. All right. So um, I thought, well, I've been sitting here for an hour. I, these lovely people from Belgium uh, pulled over and let me use their phone, but I'm like in the middle of nowhere. I, I, like, look, look at it, it's covered with fog in all directions. I mean, look at that. Yeah, there's the car. I mean, it's, this is kind of what I imagined rural Scotland to be like. I'm about exactly halfway between Aberdeen and Inverness. So I'm on my way to Inverness, heading up north. And, uh, I mean, it is rural. So anyway, um, uh, yeah, uh, this is a first, a broken down car. Well, the car's not broken, it's just the, the tire. But um, hopefully, anyway, I've been sitting here for over an hour. Hopefully, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, the tow service is going to come. Um, I'm almost afraid to see what the bill is going to be for towing, you know, a 50-minute 50, 50 uh, distance. But uh, now, as, as, as I've been sitting here the last hour, it's getting foggier and foggier and foggier. So, I don't know. Maybe this is just a part of the you know, the vacation, hey, you know, sitting here in the middle of nowhere and watching the fog roll in, but, um, I do have to say, of all the places I've been, the Scots have been the most hospitable. I've had at least 30 or 40 people stop by and, uh, and, you know, they're like, oh, they need some help, you know, have you, have you called a tow service yet? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Oh, they're American, you know, so, but, uh, but no, so, so yeah, nah, I, I will look back at this and just laugh and it'll be another, you know, travel memory, even though it's gonna probably set me back some money. But um, I, I do have to say it's, I mean, it's, it's a little grim, you know, from some angles, but uh, there's this interesting reddish brown plant growing everywhere. I, I mean, seriously, for the last hour that I've been driving, it's just this thing. I, I don't really know what it is. I'm sure it looks more beautiful in the summer. But, uh, but yeah. So this will be another, uh, actually, you know, now that I think about it, the last YouTube video I posted was me in Edinburgh eating haggis. And uh, this will, yeah, this will be the next one. So adventures in Scotland, I suppose. I don't know. I'm just hoping this tow service uh, shows up soon because it, I think the temperature has dropped another five degrees. It is getting really cold. Um, it was much warmer this morning. It was raining and and uh, it feels like it might snow. It is that cold right now. But anyway, so yeah, here's my adventures in traveling. Look at that. I mean, I've been, I've been driving since I was, what, 17? So 23 years of driving and I've, not, knock on wood, never had a flat before i suppose it was bound to happen so one thing i will note uh, about the roads in rural scotland is they are unusually narrow even even the one i'm on right now like and by the way that car that i rented is not a wide like it, it, it is a small car okay so um no, it, it, it really does feel like the road is maybe, like each lane is maybe six and a half feet wide. But that lorry that was coming down, I mean, it was, it was at least three quarters of a foot in my lane. So anyway, uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. I hope he's okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's another vehicle with his blinkers on. Oh uh, no, he's probably all right, he's moving. Not that I was hoping for someone else to have the same problem, but you know, uh, one of the people that uh, stopped by, um, they were like, oh yeah, that's, that's quite common around here, you know. I know someone who's had eight blowouts, you know, uh, just in the last two years, you know, and uh, like, oh, it's, and I said to him, maybe it's because of the uh, the narrow roads around here. He's like, I, I think that might have something to do with it. So, but uh, yeah, he's like, yeah, you, you're not the first tourist here to have a massive blot on the side of the road. So I'm like, yeah, it's, uh, it happens. But anyway, all right, well, say la vie. This is my April 2020 travel adventure. Blown out tire, stuck on the side of the road in the middle of North East Scotland, in the Highlands, in the middle of nowhere. So eventually the travel service will be along and I will get a, a tow truck and a ride to Aberdeen that was not part of the itinerary, but it looks like I'm heading to Aberdeen. So, all right, more adventures to come, uh, I guess, later on in this vacation.